Now this year's Maxwell Prize has been awarded to Claude Bardos, a mathematician who's had a major influence on generations of mathematicians for his wide ranging work. And I'm delighted to say he joins us now. Claude, thank you for joining us. First of all, many congratulations on, on the prize. Um, how did you get started in mathematics? Okay, that's a long story. My grandparents helped a lot a guy who survived the war. We were all Jewish. But this guy started in mathematics before the war. The, several of his friends went back, start to work with Dassault Aviation, where they made the plane, the fighter, the Huragan by that time. So they hired him as a ju very junior engineer. He was frustrated not to do mathematics. So he started to teach me mathematics when I went to see my grandparents at the age of 12. And maybe it's a reason why I like fluid mechanics, I like the applied mathematics connection with industry and so on. That's it. To, to look at some elements of your work, what is it about partial differential equations that you find so interesting and exciting? It's really at the cornerstone at the crossroad of several domains, both of theory and of practical example in life. It became essential at the time of at the appearance of quantum mechanics. But in the meantime, later people, and people I mean like Peter Lax and Fadeyev, found that it was closely related to the Riemann hypothesis which described the behavior of number theory. So someone in working in PDE is in the middle of all that, and I liked it that. How have you seen this field develop over your career? Has it changed much? I think it got a lot of maturity, trying to find what are the frontiers of application, what could be easily done, what are still the challenging problems. What has made you the most proud over your career? Hilbert mentioned using the idea of Boltzmann to derive a mathematical formulation of fluid mechanics from the first principle and from the hypothesis that the, that, uh, that the uh, atom exists and they interact. And it turns out that to make progress, to go from this idea to mathematics, when you can introduce number instead of ideas and qualify, quantify this number. And that was done by two people, which are La, uh, Joe Keller and Larsen. And I was aware of their work. And I told to, to students we should jump on that to try to go on on the Hilbert probe problem and try to make progress on this pro program. And it turns out that we made a kind of roadmap. I'm, I think I am responsible for the roadmap, but which end up with very difficult issue, which were not solved by me, but by a former student with Francois Gols. And one of his students who is very well known is Lord Saint-Raymond. And I did stop to work on the problem when it became too, di too technical, too difficult for me. You just spoke about some of your students, but you've had a major influence on generations of mathematicians. You must feel very proud about that. Definitely, that's one thing. It's what I told you exactly. I'm proud of what I did because they did the work. It's not me. You can just say that. Just to finish, we have, um, there are lots of young mathematicians here at ISIUM 2019. What, would you, what advice would you give to young mathematicians starting their careers? Don't worry, don't worry that you make blunder, work slowly, don't get too much in administration of science, just enjoy it. Or do something else. Thank you so much for joining us, Claude. It's been really fascinating to, to hear from you. And once again, many congratulations.